Houston area, but his father is from Kansas City, and we have just learned this morning that once federal authorities release Nadir's body, it will be sent to his father, who is also a practicing Muslim. From there, Sharon Sufi will travel from Houston to Kansas City to help bury her son, all while she grapples with trying to understand the ambush that led to her son's death. Sophie says that her son lived here in Phoenix for several years, trying his hand at a pizza business and carpet cleaning, and he wanted to be in Phoenix so he could see his eight-year-old son who lives in this area with his mother. Her heart, of course, now breaking for her grandchild. Nadir was a passionate practicing Muslim, but she never knew him to be, in her words, extreme. Sufi believes that Simpson was a powerful negative influence who drew her son deep into radicalism and eventually Sunday's violent attack. Don't blame the policeman that shot and killed him. He was just doing his job. But it's when your child dies under these kind of circumstances, you just, it just leaves you numb and empty. She too wants answers and so does the FBI. They are now looking through evidence recovered here at the pair's apartment, hoping that it leads to the how and why they hatched this plot. And in a painful twist for Sufi's mother, she told us that Nadir Sufi was actually born in Dallas at Presbyterian Hospital and one of their early family homes was in Garland. She says she never would have imagined he would return in such a way that would ultimately lead to his death.